ये तीन चीज आप कह सकते हैं जानने वाले हैं दोस्त हैं अच्छे हैं मगर ये चीज है तो उस वक्त यू नो ही जस्ट लुक एट मी मुझे देखते रहा और कहा अच्छा मैंने कहा हाँ तो मैंने कहा जो इस तरह के जो बात है तो मैं इसीलिए बहुत नाराज रहे वो जो मैंने कहा था वो तो कहें वही वही बल्कि मैंने उसे खत लिखा ब्रीफ मगर वो बहुत मीनिंगफुल खत था तो मैंने वार्न किया था कि इसका बड़ा कशन होगा और ये बिल्कुल नहीं करना चाहिए बार बार उन्होंने वो खत पढ़ के लेने वालों को सुना है तर्जुमा कर फोटो जगह दिया और उनको सुना कि जब ये खिताब के उन्होंने लिखा है बहुत सख्त खत लिखा था मैंने आई थिंक That was, I think he realized it's the short sightedness in the man in the वो जनरल के बारे में लतीफा है ना जो अब इसके कौन सा जनरल है वो हमें पता नहीं है इस बात हम सुनते रहे हैं जो गिवी द फैक्ट माइंड यू गिवी द फैक्ट आप आप लग रहे कल हम सेमिनार पे थे ना तो यू आर गिविंग फैक्ट एंड फिगर जिसने But if the government has made up a certain mind, or if they mind make up their own mind, it's not going to work. Jenkins, I was telling him that there was a very strange thing in his life. So, when he is afraid, then he becomes a coward, a fool, 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 a In a conference, I was able to meet for a very short time the Dalai Lama and some of the yoga scholars in the country. In them, I found also the qualities that I find in you. I met you in 1972. Yeah, but well, that's about it. And if you don't mind, I'll talk in English because I'm going to write it in English as I write it. And in 1972, it was accidentally that I met you. In this sense, is that uh, I didn't know you at all. I'd heard of you so much, and it was very kind of you that um, Hafiz Jalandari, uh, you had in, uh, he had been invited there, or he had gone there, and very Muslim Farooqi, the Muslim League uh, worker of 1940 Revolution, and all that. So I requested them. And uh, you were very kind to not only receive us graciously, but you gave me a lot of time to talk to you. And I wrote an article which was very. I think the Kashmiri people in Karachi or whoever read it felt that at last there was somebody in Pakistan who brought their leader to Karachi because Kashmir, like in South India, I have met lot of uh, very eminent people of South India. They are not concerned about the situation. This is what is that? I mean, we don't. I mean, why? Why is India doing all this to us? So similarly, in each area, the people have their own problems nowadays, or even in those days. So unless and until focus as such that there is similarity in their problems and they have to unite together to hold on to a country, that is the time they feel that no, this is there. Now I have just framed two questions in this sense that I would like you to talk long and in detail, and you have very graciously received me then. But that was in 1972, 19 years afterwards. Today, no, I, think so. I, I have come Change to you, okay. and uh, what I would like to say in the interim period, that maybe 19 years after, till today, 1991, May 27. In spite of the wisdom, the sagacity, the infinite patience and compassion that is innate in your nature, which I have found there, these three things that I definitely do. May I ask you if you still hold on to the same views or ideas 
these are the pakistan's handling of the occupied kashmir issue from 1972 to 1977 then again from 1977 to 1988 and then now with at the experience of two governments after the zia era this is the first step
most of the uh, because scholarship in the, in the new generation, whether it's in Kashmir or whether it's Pakistan, is something that they find is not, not paying or not uh, necessary. They don't realize the end result. They don't have that aptitude anymore. We used to. <laughs> and in India or any other third, uh, third world country, there's a strategic study. And even in our study, studies, there's nothing to do. So I think they'll even look for newspaper articles for sources. Exactly. And I do understand and I have faith that you have not, not only not changed, but you will hold on to God with you life. And if you say that long hope. life. But what I meant to say is that did you, what we in Pakistan have been noticing the ups and downs of uh, Pakistan's uh, vigorous pursuit of the Kashmir issue. And we found that, well, Afghans are also our brother brethren and Muslim brethren. But we found during the Afghan war, beginning of Afghan war and beginning of uh, their period, I don't doubt that uh, Tunisia also pursued Kashmir with the system. Uh, the but there has been an overtaking of Afghan issues before Kashmir. Now, Afghanistan, this is my personal view, a uh, personal view as a student of history, that Afghanistan, whether it's a Muslim country or not, has never been supportive of the subcontinental Muslim aspirations no. from the time of Khilafat. No, of course, they never been. Our own uh, freedom fighters like Maulana Bajula Singh yes. suffer, suffered at their hands. Okay. Members of my own family, like the Dalian Varsha, Rashti, who led the Hijrat movement to Afghanistan in 1990 uh, and was arrested in Gujarat with all the Sindhis who were trying to get into Afghanistan for this. There was a Silken Letter conspiracy case and Afghanistan betrayed. Afghanistan, although in Muslim countries with, uh, with the Muslim thing, they never were very sympathetic or even empathetic with the Muslim cause. But when the Afghan war came, I know strategically it was very important, and still is, Afghanistan is a very important point of our foreign policy. But was it necessary to push Kashmir issues into the background? Because the various leaders from 1971, disaster of losing East Pakistan, uh, and that was a, a military loss. It was politically, it was a loss from the very beginning. But it was a military loss, and uh, since then, especially somehow we feel in Pakistan that uh, it wasn't pursued with the kind because the matter, as you say, is one that there has to be clarified. That was the imagination resolution. Let us forget our own feelings, whether as a leader, yours or ours. But I would like to know that did you feel this, that there has been, uh, and you have had infinite patience, and I say why I say infinite patience is that you have the patience, you have waited, and that is what I found in those leaders. But it took 40 years to liberate this area of China. And uh, same thing with Fidel Castro. Of course there were social days, they had different methodology. But then the aim and the sincerity and the patience and the compassion for the people and the wisdom was the similar. I mean, and Sidhu Abdul Rahman was same, although his position was different. So I'm making comparisons. I hope you will excuse me for making comparisons with leaders, but then that is our way of working, or my way of working. So what I want to do really is that did you feel that uh, it should not have been done, 1972 to 77? After the Simla, Simla uh, agreement with India. Uh, but I really do not know whether, uh, whether uh, any, in any one second uh, one can really uh, give a detailed account of that as an answer to what you have said. Uh, but I'll try to uh, make it uh, brief to you. As, uh, and if you would, uh, if you would allow me, then I'll make ten to things with you for this channel. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think let us see, let us see, let us probe into the okay. uh, the uh, With regard to uh, the two positions, one is uh, that I have taken so far, and the one uh, which is the objective uh, condition obtaining in, in, in the country. Now, objectively speaking. Uh, 
uh, I look at Kashmir from Pakistan's point of view. So that is, that is uh, one basic uh, factor which needs to be taken into consideration. And that is different from any other leader? That is different because the Kashmiris essentially, and I am a Kashmiri essentially myself, uh, they look at things from Kashmir's point of view. They look at Pakistan from Kashmir's point of view. Yes. I look at Kashmir from Pakistani point of view. That so that makes right. all the difference in approach. That's where I got compassion. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, looking, looking at it from that point of view, yes. I see <coughs> that uh, in Pakistan became captive of circumstances <coughs> immediately after the uh, death of Fadi And it, uh, it gradually became leaderless, uh, leaderless country. Uh, India had the advantage of uh, elderly leadership and they maintained it till today. They are still trying to maintain it uh, uh, with elderly people who got there. So, uh, and that uh, a country without uh, a proper leader <coughs> is, uh, is uh, something which you, you really cannot just cannot explain. In uh, what, huh? Yes. So um, that was one. <coughs> Number two, the entire international community from the very day of uh, the day Pakistan was created uh, was against it uh, just in very existence. And they wanted to, um, to, to liquidate or destabilize or merge it back into the, the whole international community was of that idea. So Pakistan was all the time struggling for its own existence. No, it could not be, from my point of view, it could not be overburdened with anything else. It could not really take on anything else. So it has to, be, it has to go on to that, uh, that many uh, In the meantime, Jawal uh, appeared uh, on the scene, and uh, I think he never discussed it with me in that way, but for what he has been doing to his actions and deeds, I could see that uh, perhaps he was uh, capable of appreciating what he was uh, going through. And therefore, he, uh, in his priority, uh, he decided to go this way and that way, like that he had his own priority. I always complained uh, against him for uh, putting Kashmir at a very low priority. Yeah. But I, at the same time, knew uh, that he was right in doing so. I was also right in emphasizing that Kashmir should be raised to high status yeah. priority. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and that was the struggle which, uh, which went on. And uh, when you come to the Afghan time, there again, uh, Raul had uh, most cleverly, intelligently, and I think with conviction, we dealt with the situation that instead of talking about Kashmir and trying to uh, fish in troubled waters, he took to the right course mm-hmm. of going along with the international community and at the same time providing, uh, providing uh, strong uh, stimulus and incentive the Kashmiri people at the same time uh, to, to benefit from the situation which was, uh, which, was which had been created or which was uh, of creation of circumstances. And of course, uh, he also was um, uh, quite aware of uh, why Russia had moved into Afghanistan. It was not the pursuit yeah. of hot water, but it was something totally different. And Jalak perhaps was, was almost alive. Uh, to that fact, and uh, he properly cashed that opportunity, uh, seeking in return uh, what was to happen in Kashmir. So uh, that way, I think, uh, uh, as far as Yala was concerned, uh, I, I was I never had any doubt in my mind that Kashmir was perhaps the topmost uh, in his mind, but uh, in, in practical uh, terms, uh, that figure to be at a very low low priority, yeah. and moving from high priority to low and then low to high priority. Uh, one thing more which I uh, would like to say is that uh, in order to uh, reactivate the Kashmir issue or, uh, or to reorientate the Kashmir issue, which was yeah, one thing uh, constitutes uh, a very fundamental uh, requirement, and that is to have a viable and strong, stable Pakistan. Unless you have that, Kashmir movement could never be revived, could never be reoriented, there could be no such thing as Kashmir problem. 
So the whole Kashmir problem actually hinges around the fact that there is a stable, defensively, uh, defense-wise stable uh, Pakistan, economy-wise stable Pakistan, politically stable Pakistan. That is what uh, goes to the credit of uh, General Jawaharlal, and that is what constitutes the main element uh, which caused the movement in Kashmir uh, to rise up. Had it not been there, uh, there would be no uh, movement in Kashmir, and there no Kashmir problem. Kashmir would have still waited uh, maybe uh, much longer uh, to come to that part. So, uh, <coughs> but then immediately after the uh, uh, came in, uh, Mother who was again in the creation of circumstances. She was not the master of her own uh, situation. Uh, she had to move uh, into, into compromises, compromising between India, America, and Russian interests, yeah. and their own party party interests. Therefore, she could not really not make any headway anywhere, even if she had wanted to. Whether she wanted it or not, that is a question uh, defined. But yeah. uh, even if she wanted to, she couldn't make any headway in that. And, uh, Therefore, it, it resulted in what it resulted in, which is a very important fiasco collapse. The government, after uh, uh, Abdelaziz, uh, you know, is taking over uh, 